Yo, salam, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be three places we think you should visit if you're coming to Dubai. Before we get started with today's video, we wanted to give a quick mention to today's sponsor, Lux Creo. They are a 3D printing company. And you guys, this is really exciting because if you know me, you, if you know me personally at least, I don't think I complain about this on social uh, media. I, I know her personally. But if you know me personally, you know that I have the worst lower back pain on the face of this earth. And I'm always in pain for some reason to the point that I've gotten used to it and I no longer like like say anything because khalas, like it's just the way it is. Like and that's I how my body is. I came up with why, her, why she's in pain. Jasmine pretty much has 90% flat feet. <laughs> so what that means basically is when I step on the ground like instead of having that like slight curve that feet are supposed to have It's kind of like this So I honestly struggle a lot with my lower back pain because of my feet and so walking long distances Especially in Dubai Dubai is all about walking exploring um, I've realized that, that it hurts even more and more So I'm really excited to work with Lex Creo because they are a 3d printing company that actually customize insoles For your shoes, which is so awesome because they do it in a really cool way way through an app that you fill out all your information you even scan your foot like Dawood was that was Dawood's favorite part just scanning his foot on top of the camera <laughs> and literally took the measurements the the way your the foot curve. curves and everything yeah and then... it's so cool and then they send you a package that looks like this with your customized just for you insoles and what's really cool is that it's made out of this like mesh material this material is actually called mesh light so this specific material the mesh light material that they have is meant to kind of like absorb any shock it's also meant to keep your feet dry while you're working out or walking for long distance it's just made specifically for your foot so the curve on this and the structure of the way this is built is going to be different than the way the way Dawood is built look how big Dawood's foot yeah, is and compared then look to yours, like... yeah so mine has that extra arch or arc or whatever you want to call it um, to give me my flat feet support I'm gonna pop these into my shoe and we're gonna test them out today but if you're interested in checking these out from Lux Creo and creating your own customized insole they're gonna help your feet definitely check out the link down below it's a super easy process and honestly it like, took five minutes yeah it literally took five minutes and I think it's a really good investment in terms of like long term I don't want to have back pain forever so hopefully this is gonna help me I just popped mine in there as you can see and it seems like it fits perfectly which is nice and now I'm gonna pull my shoe on there we go Ooh, squishy I can't do this shoe on insoles in activated <laughs> automatically I could feel like there's more of an arch support um, underneath my foot which is really weird because I have flat feet and I don't really feel that so someone who already has an arch may not feel that right away but obviously you would create like something that's custom to what your pains are so let's say you have pain near your toe area or near the back of your heel or just overall support you could kind of customize it in that way um, so I'm excited to test it out and see if it actually helps throughout the day while we're walking so now we're driving and the first place that we would totally recommend that GPS is so rude is in and around the Dubai mall area now I know you're like oh it's so typical you guys there's so much to do at Dubai mall that like I don't even think we could fit it into one video everything that you could possibly do at Dubai mall and that's not even including like the restaurants and the food that you guys could try out so even like the outside the scooter the walking there's so many areas like nightlife, even so like nice. Boulevard Boulevard is so close to Dubai mall they have a VIP theater there there's like so many things that you could do okay so if you are coming to Dubai mall I would definitely recommend you park at the Fashion Avenue parking and then go all the way up to the last floor which is the 11th floor 11th floor and you will see this crazy view where you can take really cool pictures how cool is this view and then there's the Burj Khalifa right up there so imagine yourself like posing right over here with this view in the background so cool the wood demonstrating <laughs> <laughs> so besides the fact that there are hundreds and hundreds of stores to explore here there's also so many restaurants 
and there is a huge aquarium in the middle of the mall and there's also skating <laughs> in the middle of the mall, which is so crazy it's to all think. all in one place. Welcome to the craziness of Dubai Mall Aquarium. So this is what you see on the outside. There's like a barricade here, kind of preventing you to go on the inside unless you have tickets. There's so many sharks and cool fish in there. How cute is that one? Aww. So we just asked, and in order to get in, it's $2.99 dirhams per person. Which is a hundred bucks a person. It's expensive, you guys! Yeah, I ain't going in there to see no so, fish. I can see it from the outside. Yeah, our recommendation is to just see it from the outside. You'll see all the cute sharks and fish and stingrays. No need to spend a hundred dollars just to see that unless you really, really want to. But do you want to do it? No, I'd rather spend it on food! <laughs> Next up, we had the ice rink. This blew my mind when I first came to Dubai. I could not believe that there was an actual ice rink in the middle of the mall. But there is, and it's huge. Wow, I feel like I'm in Canada. <laughs> Let's go Home Leafs. Sweet home. Let's go Leafs. <laughs> dun, da, da, da. dun 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 Ah, we're gonna die. Wow, nice. Hey guys, this is one of my favorite views in the world. It's probably the prettiest view for sure. And it is the fountain. Dun, da, da. Okay, so once you step out of the mall, this is what you see right away. Um, Souk Al Bahar is there. And then if you go to this side down here, this is where the beautiful fountain is. And this is where the fountain show happens every single night. But how insane is this view? So pretty. All right, so this area is so neat. We come here almost at least three times a week just to, you know, chill, see the view, um, eat some good food. And there's a bunch of restaurants so here. Many restaurants. So many Our favorite one's actually a Lebanese restaurant called Bi <laughs> so And good. it's actually like up there somewhere. We also want to show you an area here by the Dubai Fountain that we discovered recently. Um, we've been here for three months and we didn't even know you could go to this area so it's actually on the opposite side of the fountain and there's a beautiful view there so if you want to take pictures if you want some cool instagram shots and videos and all that good stuff definitely recommend going there all you have to do is just keep walking around the fountain all the way around and then you get to that secret spot it's cute <laughs> okay so we finally made it to the other side we were over there initially I have my mask in my hand but we were over there initially and now we walked all the way around and then here and this is where we are and the really cool part about this is that there is a bridge right there and then once you're on the bridge you get this like crazy cool view if you're taking photos you can also get this view in the background which is really nice and you can also get the Burj Khalifa in the back after the bridge on the bridge on the other side it's a whole street full of restaurants it's called the cafes, boulevard it's called the boulevard it's so super nice. beautiful, uh, yeah. So you can take the bridge here, go all the way up, and then back there is where the boulevard is. And the thing is, at nighttime, it's all lit up, palm trees with like those restaurants, lights everywhere. restaurants everywhere, so much light. Such a beautiful place to come to. And there's not a lot of traffic in terms of driving, so it's very easy to get to. Yeah. Okay, now that we've showed you in and around Dubai Mall, our favorite spots here, we're gonna show you the next one, which is Blue Waters. Blue Waters. We are on our way to Blue. Waters. Dum, da, da, dum. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Stupid moaning. This is what it looks like when you are driving over. So that area is called JBR and that's a really nice area too. And this is where we're going. This is the Blue Waters Island that's just right off the JBR area. So that huge Ferris wheel that you see right there, it's called Al Ain, I think and it's the largest ferris wheel in the world so this is what you see when you first come to the island basically a bunch of restaurants and stores um, and there at the top is the ferris wheel 
and it's just a really cool area to explore and just kind of walk around hang out okay so just to give you a bit of a perspective on this huge ferris wheel like i don't even think the camera is picking up how big it is but each like little cubicle or little bean there is like the size of a party room and you can actually legitimately like rent it out and have a party in there like it's huge <laughs> So I have to turn my wide angle lens on so you guys can see how huge this thing is. Like, what? It's so, it's so big, it makes me look so small. Like, the wood and that. <laughs> huge. Okay, so we're racing against the clock. So we have to get to our third spot that we recommend in Dubai, which is Global Village. Yes. And we're meeting up with Mahmoud and Dunya. Yeah, buddy. Mahmoud and Dunya, you guys know them. We love them so much. Um, so we're going to meet up with them and explore all the different foods that there is uh, to offer. Um, and if you don't know where Global Village is, it's basically like a village full of all the countries around the world. You get to eat, experience, and enjoy like uh, performances uh, from those cultures. So. I'm really excited. And they also have a waranab stand that you can just buy different types of waranab. What, what did Dunya call waranab? Yalanji. 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 <laughs> Look who's here. Let's go. <laughs> so we're getting on a train because we're too lazy to walk. <laughs> but it's cute. There's like a train option that takes you all the way to the entrance. So this is what all the pavilions look like. This is India. We have Africa over there. We have Egypt over there, so you have basically like all the continents, major continents and countries. First up, we're having Bosnian house. We ordered this to share, it's kebabs. Bosnian kebabs. <laughs> Yalla Mahmoud, show us. Try it, try it, right. Taste test, Dawood and Mahmoud, yalla. <laughs> Romantic. <laughs> okay, now you're married, officially. <laughs> What is this behavior? <laughs> Hello, salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Here we go. Soups are ready. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Here we go. Enjoy it. Thank you. Welcome. Enjoy it. Good? Worth the hype? It's so good. So good? So good. Nice. So far, Dunya is doing a good job at recommendations. <laughs> so we came to this like hallway area. It's like a little mini street. And it has all the food that you can imagine from different countries. So as you guys can imagine, I'm obsessed with what I know. favorite food in the entire universe. And the fact that there's a business just that. Like I think I should inherit this business and just run it myself. <laughs> We're getting that right there. Thank you, brother. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like. Looks like a bubble tea. But <laughs> it actually has wara'ana, spicy potato, laban, which is yogurt, and the chips that you get on salad, like fatouche salad. So let's try it out, you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, that looks so juicy. Like it's actually really, it tastes like mine. Really? Okay, okay, here. Dawood's reaction. I'm so excited! It's good, right? Mm. So good! <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, it's so good. Okay guys, we found our new favorite spot. Oh shit! <laughs> Dunya! Good job, Dunya! <laughs> Today's Dunya's night! <laughs> Today is sponsored by me! Mm. Sponsored by Dunya, Anjad. Next up... Nash Hot Chicken. Do you eat this every day? <laughs> yes, no. No, you don't eat it every day. It's bad for you. <laughs> oh my god. Where are you going? Shopping. Without me? Guys time. Let's yeah, do it. Let's go. <laughs> Bye. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> Bye. Okay, what are we gonna do? Yo, bro, let's go. I got you. We're single now. <laughs> single for life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hi, it's in Halgeimat. It's like Arabic timbits. Yeah, it's like Arabic timbits, <laughs> and it has the dibis al timbit. Oh. 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 Oh.
Oh, it's so good. Yeah, yeah, bro. Oh, romantic. All right, we are stuffed and tired. <laughs> it's been a lot of walking, but you know, thanks to those insoles by Lux Creo. We're Def good. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely check them out in our bio down below. So that's it for today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed the three spots that we think are worth checking out in Dubai. If you guys have any recommendations, leave a comment down below and then we will definitely check those out. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.